Well, how's it going everybody and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. I'm out here today on beautiful Lake Vermilion in northern Minnesota and I'm back with one of the uh, the guests of the Monsters of Minnesota series. Oh Mike! What's up guys? So Mike's a guy out here in Vermilion, I'll leave him linked below, but we're just going to be out here throwing around some big old lures. You know, lures that we got, they're bigger than bass. Yeah, I know what I mean by that is they're actually bigger than bass. This here is, is the bar fighter and uh, it is longer than your average Lake uh, Travis bass. <laughs> Muskie are one of the coolest fish that I've ever targeted and I only caught one last year at Lake of the Woods so hopefully we can add to that list today with a new PB possibly. So we're also out here with Natty up north. Hey She's guys. another YouTuber as well. Make sure you go subscribe to her and uh, she probably has, you have a bigger muskie than me right? Oh yeah, what's, what's your biggest? 40? Oh please. Okay, oh please she says. Maybe it'll be a little YouTuber competition today but make sure you guys subscribe and we'll see you guys when we catch some fish or if we don't but most likely when we do. At least you gotta be optimistic about it. We're starting with the old flap Tillion. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. So the good thing about having Mike as your guide is that he runs the trolling motor from back here. That way we are just free to fish. Although I do have to put the trolling motor up. <laughs> I thought it was like the old Terra or whatever. Is it good? Yep. All right. Don't do that at home, folks. What's the flat? Is this the flap jack? Flap, flap, what? Tail. Flap tail, not the flap jack. Okay. Mike, if I don't catch one today, I'm gonna have to go to Lake of the Woods again and make it easy for myself. <laughs> I'm on. Oh, she's on. Yes, yes, Natalie. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes! Woo! Woo! Yes! Oh my god! Let's go! That was the easiest, Hold easiest that. net job ever. That was literally I cannot believe that. That was the easiest <laughs> catch ever. That was not a hard catch. No. Holy cow. That fish didn't even fight. No, it didn't even fight. Well his head shaking. That's what they do. Do you see the head on that? <laughs> oh. Did you eat it good? Oh my, dude, I can't see the bait. Yikes. Oh, you're oh right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna let you take the hooks out of this one. What do we got? 46 and a quarter. Nice. 46 and a quarter. Can we get some pictures? Yeah, I'll get some nice pictures. Right. Good. That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful. Well, that was dope. Natty got her first one of the day. Give me, give me some of that. But uh, yeah, it's my turn now. I gotta get, I gotta get one. That would have been my yeah. PB. So we gotta, we gotta get me out of 46 and a half. Cool yeah. fish though, awesome. Just seeing someone else catch a muskie is, is incredible to watch. Just the, the, the jump and the, I don't know, the fight, it's incredible. Let's get to fishing. You know, you can tell it's a muskie because of the way it is. <laughs> Wait, you know that too? Of course I know that. You've never seen the video? No, but I stayed. Oh, oh no, it's a funny video. Oh, you gotta yeah. see it. I gotta. It's called Nature Walk. Oh. So what we're doing right now is we're, we're ripping big baits kind of in open water and there's not really any structure around here but these fish have just finished spawning up shallow. Muskies kind of spawn like many other large sized bait fish they don't actually have a bed they just kind of roam around and beat into each other but they're real tired. You can tell that Natalie's fish was all beat up from the spawn so they're coming out here to feed on the shad that are kind of suspended in this area. That's what we're doing. I'm throwing a, is it a beaver? beaver. I'm throwing a beaver. Not a sweet beaver, folks. Not for flipping for largies. I'm throwing a 14 inch beaver. It looks like an actual beaver. We're plugging away, hoping for a big one. We're taking a small break from fishing and uh, stopping at the Vermilion Club. Supposedly they have like giant pizzas here. Mike says they're, they're big old pizzas. So we're gonna stop there, have some good lunch. Just to have a chill time, kind of refuel for the afternoon because I'm feeling a musky, folks. I'm feeling one coming. You know what? You gotta be positive in this. In this sport, it is grueling. But let's get some food. After some delicious pizza, we're back on the water to chase the muskellunge. Muskellunge? I don't work out. I don't need no muskellunges. Ooh. Now we just heard some <laughs> we just heard some thunder, which means the weather is changing. Most likely gonna rain, so the GoPro is probably gonna be my uh, my session, the, the waterproof one. But I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, folks. Comment below if you're feeling it as well. Well, the wind has picked up. We are uh, we're trolling right now, but a storm is blowing in right now as we speak, and it's getting it's getting windy. I'm gonna put the chest cam on. I'm I'm letting him take it. 
Woo! Oh my. Yes. Yeah. That's a that's a big musky there. Big fish. Oh, oh my gosh. How big you thinking? I don't know. That is a big Yeah. Way down. I'm gonna have to take off the board. There you go. Yep. Gosh. Heck yeah! Woo! I'm sure the audio is just great with the wind. Rod tip towards you. I just lost my shoe. Here we go. Early hooked. Let's go, baby. Ah, right oh, let's go. Give me some of that. Oh my goodness. That is oh, that is my PB. <laughs> Not a walleye, that's for sure. Oh. Dope, dope, dope. Let's go. Let's go. <gasps> Boom. That's a good one. What are we, what are we thinking? All right. Forty-five. Forty-five. Right, Heck yeah. Yep. Well, that was pretty cool. I got to break my PB muskie. My PB before that, as you guys have seen, if you haven't seen that video, click over here in this corner. It was 40 inches, so I beat it by five inches, 45. Uh, definitely an interesting fight because when you're casting or retrieving, it's almost more like fighting a bass. Uh, when you're out here, there was a lot different uh, techniques in terms of reeling in the fish that I wasn't exactly aware of, but uh, very, very cool. I love the experience. I love catching big fish like this. So we're gonna put some more uh, trolling rigs out. We didn't anticipate trolling to be uh, the deal today, and it might not be. It might have been a fluke fish, but hopefully, uh, we'll, we'll get into a few more for you guys. Ah, I got the rock. We are back after my catch, and it is almost minor time, which means the moon is doing something. I don't exactly know, but the fish move when the moon moves. Oh, going, 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 go, fish, fish, fish. Down, down, down. Roger, down. Roger, down. There you go. I'm reeling, I'm reeling, I'm reeling. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is fun. Oh, come on. Bring it in, buddy. Yep. Bring it in. Not even that big. Big pike. Big pike? Come on. Oh. Right, you would feel like a muskie. Woo! Woo! Oh. That's still fun though. Gosh. Bring it up here. It's a big pike. You can just pop it off. Oh man. Got my blood. There he goes. Woo. Get your blood pumping though. <laughs> All right. Back for another. I'm throwing the Medusa. I was going to try to catch a bass on this last year, but I never bought one. But I might buy one this year. The good thing is the muskie that I caught earlier was in uh, kind of open water trolling, not during one of the best, best moon phases. So we're hoping that we can get a third muskie. A three muskie day, especially on Vermilion, is rare. So we're, we're, we're pushing for it. For you guys at home, for the viewers. You know that was only, only the second fish I've ever caught on Harper? Well, everybody, I'm realizing as I'm editing this video that I did not film an outro, so I wanted to film it right now for you guys. I had an awesome time on Lake Vermilion catching my new personal best muskie. Super awesome experience. I love getting out there, especially on big bodies of water with some of my best friends. So if you guys want to follow Natty on YouTube, it should be linked below, and Mike, the guy that we were with, as you guys know, I don't like to go out with guides a whole lot when I go out in the water, but Mike is a guy that knows Lake Vermilion so well, and he can put you on your biggest muskie of your entire life. So if you guys are in the northern Minnesota area and want to catch a huge muskie, Mike's definitely your guy. He'll be linked down below, and we'll see you guys on the next episode of Tyler's Real Fishing.